Hey everybody, it's Jorik. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Today I want to talk a little bit about earthquakes. Not something that I was going to talk about, but I have a client that's here in Lisbon right now from Portugal and he and his family, we went to lunch and he was asking a question about, well, what's going on with earthquake activity? He happened to live or they're currently living in a part of Turkey that has a lot of earthquakes, including a major one that took place about a year ago. So it was a concern of his, and I said, well, off the top of my head, I don't recall any major earthquakes in the 40 years I've been here. And along with that, my wife and I have only felt one here in Lisbon, and the only reason we felt it, it was a mild one, like a three point something on the Richter scale, is um, there was a shuddering of the building for maybe two seconds. And when I say that, I moved in my chair like this for two seconds, that was it. My wife and I looked at one another, was that an earthquake? And, and found out later it was. We have similar activity when big trucks go through our neighborhood. We have a one-way street. So if there's a large construction truck that goes by, sometimes the building will shake and shimmer a little bit. Not to this degree. But that was the only one I could think of. But I do know from reading a lot of articles and seeing the television news, there are earthquakes that happen on a fairly regular basis in Portugal albeit none of them like the 1755 earthquake, tsunami, and fire that took out most of Lisbon. Many of these are small in scale by Richter scale, so I'll say less than five on the Richter scale. So I wanted to show people, if this is something that concerns you, if you're looking to move to Portugal, the Azores, Madeira, and you're wondering about this, I wanted to show you this website because you can view the volcanic activity and the thing I wanted to let people know about too is that there's three main areas that seem to have the most amount of activity. And I wanna go in those, into those quick before I show you the website. So the first is the Azores, based upon where it's located out in the Atlantic, there's a lot of activity. And when you look at this website and you see the locations, the Azores often pops up. Second is Madeira, so south of the Azores and almost due west of Morocco. Um, that area, there's a lot of uh, activity, but it's small and minor to where maybe some of the locals, you don't even experience it or realize it because it's not big enough to really uh, move you around or create, cause any damage. And then the third area of all things is in the Algarve, in eastern Algarve, a faro area, uh, both water and land-wise, there seems to be a fair amount of activity in those specific regions. Now, the rest of Portugal, there's also some earthquake activity that happens. But let's go to this website. I'm going to put this in a description so that you can go look at it. It's just something you may not care about buying a property or renting and worrying about the earthquake activity. But to me, since he asked the question and that was new to me, I, I went down some rabbit holes checking on it. And if you go to earthquakelist.org forward slash Portugal forward slash, you get Portugal's earthquake activity report. And as you're seeing this, actually, when you see the video, this will be updated from when I'm uploading this information. It's got information as I'm looking at it here from eight hours ago, 12 hours ago, a day ago several uh, that are anywhere in the twos and threes on the Richter scale. And then that's the all earthquakes, any magnitude category. And then I'm going to click the next one in the middle, the major only, meaning 4.4 plus or 4.0 plus on the Richter scale that it'll show you here when I'll say major activity has happened. And as you can see, Funchal, much of it in Madeira, some of it in the Azores, uh, Ponte Delgado, uh, Faro. But as you scroll through this, there are places, other places along the mainland. And at the bottom, they have what would be what I would call like a, a heat map showing you where most of the activity is in Portugal for earthquakes. So I don't think, like the question he had asked is earthquake activity and then specifically if you buy a property, how likely is it going to get uh, destroyed or ruined by an earthquake? Other people that have lived here longer can certainly speak about it in a way that I cannot, but it would be my guess. This hasn't come up in any expat conversations or communities or groups that I've, I've seen, but I don't think it's much of a concern. 
But you watching this video, if you're living here or you're considering a move, is that something that is a part of your concern, meaning you don't want to buy property because you never know what's going to happen with uh, uh, the natural wonders of the world? Or does that, you know, are you going to be just fine and earthquakes happen all over the world? You're not that worried about it. When I told him, I said, we do have earthquakes, but nothing major in my opinion. And I don't think there's been many that have ruined properties at all. Uh, again, you could tell me if I'm wrong there, but this is a country that based upon activity, it would be, I think, a fine place to live and not have to necessarily worry about the major earthquakes that other countries and residents of those countries have to deal with. Now, of course, there are people that are waiting or trying to figure out when the next 1755 earthquake is going to happen. I don't know what the uh, statistics are on that, but for the most part, living here in Portugal, you're going to deal with some mild earthquake activity, some of it more frequent than uh, not, depending on where you live in the country. So I hope this video is useful. If you're interested in this topic, now you know a little bit more about it, please go to that website to check it out. Find out You can find out information not just about Portugal, but pick any country and find out what's going on with earthquake activity uh, where you live now and here in Portugal where you may be living in the future. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and enjoy your travels.